When you do a cyber incident response simulation or otherwise known as a tabletop exercise, you're giving the folks there the opportunity to work through a seemingly real world example with less stress. Conducting a tabletop exercise before a cyber incident actually affects your organization is one of the best ways to understand how your organization is going to perform. You're presenting them with the same kind of, of uh, problems or uh, circumstances that would occur in a, a real world incident and allowing them to work through them, which will help them identify gaps, weaknesses, areas where their incident response plan isn't developed enough and, and allow them the opportunity to then improve upon those plans and processes and procedures. So who should participate in a tabletop exercise? C-suite. This includes your chief information officer, chief information security officer, chief risk officer, audit and compliance folks, general counsel, very important general counsel, and even more important if your organization contracts outside counsel. Uh, these folks are very important because they're going to be your buffer between uh, what is done uh, inside your organization and how the information flows outside your organization. They protect privilege. Some other key folks are obviously your IT folks. Uh, these are the ones that are going to give you the important information about what's going on with your systems to make informed decisions later on down the line. Customer service reps or, or individuals or, or, or management for that matter. They're going to control, help control and, and disseminate information to those folks who are going to be calling in trying to find out what's going on. Don't be surprised if you're getting calls from not only your customers, but you'll get inquiries from the media, from your uh, employees, from other competitors that are in the, in the same space. All these are things that we have seen happen in real world scenarios. Uh, so these folks are important to be to have an understanding of what's going on as well. The thing to understand about about conducting a tabletop exercise is you need to think about it as holistically as possible. You need to think about it all the cross cutting equities that. Uh, different segments of your organization and the roles are going to play as a seemingly real world incident, incident was unfolding. So when you're conducting a tabletop exercise, everybody who would play a part in responding to that needs to be part of the tabletop exercise. After conducting a tabletop exercise, your organization should have a better idea of how it's going to perform in the midst of a crisis. It's a perfect opportunity for you to look back and and see where your plan made sense, where it failed, and what improvements are needed in case your organization does go through an actual cyber incident.